Lima with a very good left foot. That's one of the reasons he's lining up on the left side of midfield for Cabrera in the U.S. today. Moore with the header. Loose ball, and it's an early start. Brilliant for the U.S. Rubio Rubin, 1 0 red, white, and blue. Just play. They say family that plays together stays together. And one that walks apart just falls apart. So together we stand, divided we fall. United we form Voltron and take on all. Let's move, yes. The birds left the nest. I'm all grown up, I gotta fly with the rest. Uh -huh. Best of the best is what we strive to be. Yeah. A legacy is what we trying to leave. Yeah. Let's say goodbye to the past. He's a great guy. I hope he goes really far in soccer, and he's just really nice and caring. He deserves to be go do well in soccer. Oh, well, I believe I think he's he's an amazing player and uh, really skillful, and he's a role model to follow. So he is a great kid. Um, he's extremely talented at soccer, and I feel like he's going to go far with his soccer career, and hopefully, he makes it to the top level, and he can be a pro soccer player one day. I think Rubio Rubin is a great player. He is probably one of the best players I think I've ever seen come out of Beaverton. He's a great kid. He has a lot of potential. He's also really humble, which makes it great. Um, I don't know. I've really enjoyed getting to know him, and his brother's pretty good, too. So <laughs> I think uh, I definitely want to miss those two when they leave. So I can't really say that about a whole lot of kids, but I can say that about those two. Hello, my name is Rubio Rubin. I'm from Beerton, Oregon. I'm 16 years old and I play for the U17 national team. Uh, I started when I was about like 11 years old. I played for my club, Westside Metros. And I mean, that's when I started playing competitive soccer. I played for Westside Warriors before that. And, you know, competitive soccer, that's where I began with all my friends and all that. So, I mean, it led me to a lot. Of it's life. I mean, when I started playing when I was three years old, my dad had taught me how to play soccer, so I mean, since then I loved it. I mean, it means a lot to me. And every day, I mean, I've been working hard since then, and you know, keep on going until I accomplish what I set to accomplish. And what I set to accomplish was to be a professional soccer player, play for a great team in Europe. You know, that's my goal. You know, I look up to players that play down there, like Hernandez. So I mean, it's hopefully I get there one day. You know, trying to stay healthy and all that. So it's my future. It's great, you know, I mean, the U17 national team, uh, it's been a good ride right now, you know, I want to keep on going. Uh, we have qualifications next year and the World Cup, and hopefully I make it, you know. I mean, I'm going to keep working, staying humble, you know, because I haven't made it yet, you know. I just, like, I'm still a kid, anything can happen in the next year and a half, and so it has led me to a lot of success, but i got to keep going. Um, I look up to my brother and my dad, you know, uh, since... My dad used to like play soccer. He has taught me a lot and how to be like a grown man and how to like push myself to a limit and how like if hard work, if you keep working hard, like it will pay off, you know. And my brother, he has taught me a lot, you know. He's the one that took me out to the fields every day and pushed me to be the best I can be. And I also look up to my favorite player, my favorite soccer player, which is Javier Chicharito Hernandez, plays for the Mexican national team and also for Manchester United. I mean, I look up to him because he scores goals and. He's always at the right place at the right time, and he's just a natural goal scoring, and I love scoring, so, I mean, and he's also a humble kid, you know, I loves God, and I, I love God, too, so. Uh, yeah, there was a point where, what's it called, uh, when it was U12, my dad told me that he couldn't afford for me to play for Westside Metros, and, you know, that's, like, hit me, so I knew I had to work harder, you know, because that was... That was it, you know. I'm. I came from not a very wealthy family, so it was like kind of sad. It hit me, you know. Like I was like, I'm not rich, you know. I gotta work harder. So my hard working from what I did led like from parents helping me pay from the team parents. So I mean, they all helped me throughout the years, and I really thank them. And you know, and being humble has also helped me, you know, because they don't like they didn't want cocky people, you know. So I mean, being humble helped me. Be hard working every day, so. Like, uh, struggles have happened. It been, I had an injury, broke my fifth metatarsal bone one time. It, like, after that year, I was struggling a little, but I came back and recovered and kept on working hard. And, I mean, success is still coming my way, but, I mean, I gotta stay humble and keep on hard, uh, working hard. I mean, 
the thing that has led me to all my successes is probably being humble and being uh, on the field and off the field, hardworking every day, you know, pushing myself to the limits and being the best as possible as I could be. I don't take uh, success as like other players do. They stop working hard, you know, so I mean, I keep working, I keep busting, you know, keep working until I accomplish what I set to accomplish again, you know. So I keep working to the limits, you know, it's, it's, until I make it, I'll be happy. Until I play a good 10 years in professional career, I'll be happy.